Hey there, welcome to another Encouraging Word. My name is Dave. I'm in Clarny, Manitoba. So glad that you've joined us today. I don't want to take this time for granted. So let's dive right in. On Sunday, we talked about knowing why we do what we do. And uh, yesterday, we talked about the ultimate reason that we do things, and that is that we are to glorify God with everything we do. Colossians 3.17 says, Whatever you do, in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So whatever we do, we are to do for the glory of God. We are to do that he might be magnified, that he might be put in the spotlight. Our actions and our words uh, are to be for the glory of God. But there are secondary reasons why we do what we do. Um, probably one of the biggest of those reasons is for our family. I've talked to many people who would do anything for their family, do anything for their kids. They'd sacrifice whatever uh, they had to sacrifice for the sake of of their family. Of course, in the priority of things, sometimes people will put family even over God. Some people will do things for family that dishonor God uh, even, and that certainly should not be. I see more and more people taking time for their family because that's important, yet leaving no time for God in regards to spiritual things for their family. And that's also very important. Uh, but vice versa, I've also seen people who say they love God, yet they dishonor their family by their words and their actions. I just watched the story of a man who was raised in the home of a pastor, and uh, the pastor behind the scenes was an alcoholic, was abusive, uh, the mother was abusive, and so these children were left with uh, wounds that last for many, many years and only take God's healing to uh, bring about some sense of well-being. And that's very sad and very dishonoring to God. In the Bible, the family is the bedrock of society. We are taught to work in order to support the family. First Timothy 5 verse 8 says, Anyone who does not provide for their family, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith it is worse than an unbeliever. Uh, we have a responsibility to work and provide for our family, not to depend on others, but to work for ourselves and to, to uh, teach our, our family the importance of working and supporting them. Part of living for God is supporting your fam family financially and emotionally and spiritually. The biblical role of a parent is to be a good steward of the children that God has given to us, and we are to be responsible for them, and uh, parents have a responsibility to care for the spiritual, emotional, physical well-being of their children. Uh, the most important biblical duty, perhaps, uh, that any parent has is to teach their children about Jesus and to show who Jesus is, both in their actions and in their words. As a parent, we have a responsibility to teach our children uh, and to tend to our children's spiritual growth. Uh, as uh, well as their education and school, we have a job to teach them spiritual truths. Um, we are a child's first witness to the gospel, and so sharing Jesus with our children is one of our most important duties ever. Uh, we are to nurture them, our children, in the discipline and instruction of the Lord, Ephesians 6, 4 says. In the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy, parents are to be the chief uh, instructors or teachers of spiritual things. It should be done in the home, not in the public school, not in the uh, Christian school, not in the Sunday school. The chief place for spiritual things to be taught is in the home. Um, and in the Bible, it says that we are to teach our children, to impress the teachings of the Lord on our children, to talk about them when you sit at home, when you walk along the road, and when you lie down, and when you get up. It's just to be part of our natural, everyday life. Spiritual things are part of who we are. It's not set aside just in a certain hour of the day or a certain hour of the week. We're always constantly teaching our children spiritual truths and spiritual reality. 
One of the very good reasons we do what we do is for our children, but not just for their, their economic well-being or, or their schooling, but for their heart for God. Um, that should be one of the, the main reasons why we do what we do is so that our children will come to know Jesus Christ. And what do we do when a child turns aside from the things that they've been taught and the things that they've seen in their home? Well, we need to pray and pray and pray and not give up praying. If you have children, you can well say, for this reason I pray. Uh, if you have no other reason to get on your knees and bow before God and pray, it should be for your kids and your grandkids, uh, that they might come to know Jesus, that they may walk in the ways of Jesus. That's my desire. The Bible says that if we teach our children the ways of God when they're old, they'll not depart from them. And that's our prayer for you today. Would you bow with me? Father God, I thank you so much. Uh, for those who are watching today, those who have a heart for their family, oh God, they want their children to do well physically and emotionally and, and financially and uh, in, in their schooling. But God, I pray for those as well who have a heart for their children to come to know Christ, that they may see Christ in them. They may witness Christ at work in their home through their parents' lives. And so, Father, I pray you'd give us wisdom. You'd give us a heart of understanding. You'd give us guidance and instruction. Help us to be Christ to our children. Help them to see Christ in us, in the way we act, in the way we talk, in the way we carry about our business. Oh God, may our homes reflect Christ in them. We pray this for the glory of God and in the name of Jesus, our Savior. Amen. Thanks so much for watching. I know you have a heart for your kids and you do what you do for your kids. And I pray God will just guide you and direct you in those ways every day. God bless. Have a great day.